Everyone, NASCAR stuff here, and uh, today I came to a museum. Um, this is my second time doing a museum. No NASCAR museum, sorry about that. Probably will never happen until like 20 years, but this is the second museum I've been to that I'm recording. First one was Battleship, Texas, and this time it's the Texas Air Museum in San Antonio. So, uh, this right here is a, I forgot the name of it, but I have a model of this. I believe they used this from the late 50s to the 60s during the Vietnam War. It's a double-decker helicopter. It's one of the largest helicopters, actually, they used during the Vietnam War. And they took the blades off and everything, but I'll show you, go ahead and show you the inside. So there's the seats in there. So just to give you a perspective of what it would be like in the wartime, this mostly would be like a cargo air, aircraft uh, in the hall per, uh, military personnel. So there would be seats pretty much lined up all against here for people to sit. They could come down. They would fold up to put cargo in here. And then right here in the door, they typically have a machine gunner. And actually, I remember this right. There's actually another machine gunner somewhere else. But yeah, this is this is a pretty cool aircraft. I'm happy I was able to be able to come in here. They had it open today. So yeah, that's what it looks like inside there. They took all the everything out that was inside of it originally which kind of sucks but yeah now move on to the F4 Phantom I also use this during the Korean and Vietnam War they use this war quite a bit until the 80s I believe they retired in the 80s they use this for um, for the Thunderbirds and the Blue Angels so that's one cool thing about this not too many of this air the same as that F4 I believe there's like not that many left of these, of this specific uh, F4 Phantom, but yeah, I'm gonna go up here. Can't be. So yeah, that's what it looks like basically inside. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, here's the air intake, and then they mainly use this for the Navy and Marines, um, cause it was it was a pretty it was pretty long range of distance, so I'm not mistaken. So yeah. This is mainly, you would just see this in the Navy and Marines on aircraft carriers. And this was a pretty cool uh, fighter jet and bomber jet. They used this a lot during the Vietnam War. Should have gone on the other side. I'll go ahead and do that. But another good thing about this aircraft, why it was also too pretty good, is because of that. The wings are pretty short. So, now I'm going to go to the other side of the aircraft. There's the landing gear. And everything like that. There's the front of the nose. Go to the other side. Actually, left a practice. Uh, that's a fuselage. I saw a bomb actually right there. That's actually a fuselage. That was for so they could go uh, extra distances in fuel. But that one right there, they could either, they could either they could either carry an extra fuselage or a fuselage and bombs or just bombs and missiles. So yeah. But this one, I believe, was, in fact, a Air Force Army one. This was not really ever a Navy one. Well, actually, no, it was a Navy one, I surely think. But here's a little bit better perspective. Right there is an ejection sheet, uh, seat. Pull those handles, and you had to get ejected. So, yeah, they left all the instruments in this one, which is good. This is a double-seater. Everything's intact on this one, which is pretty good. Pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. It is showing its sun age though. It's out here uh, for a long time. Now I'm gonna go to this airplane. I don't know what this airplane is called, unfortunately. I don't I have not seen too many of these. They might have been a practice jet. But actually an airplane is about to take off. It looks like over there. Yep, it's about to take off. <laughs> so that'd be pretty cool if I could get. Yep, there it goes. Go ahead and just film this too right here, right now. Well, I don't know if it's taking off. It might not be taking off. It might be just hauling butt down the taxiway. And there it goes. On the dirt mounds. It should come out the other end, I hope. Yep, there it goes. I was glad I was able to get that uh, on camera while I was recording. I was really hoping a plane would be able to fly out, but yeah. And also, too, the fun thing about Stinson, which is, like, really cool, glad about this history here, is it's actually the second oldest airport in the whole entire United States. So that is awesome. 
so that'll show your age. It's been here since the early uh, 1900s. So here's this airplane. This is quite a big step stool, though. <laughs> well, not a step stool, but a ladder. So yeah, there it is. They took pretty much a lot of it out. They took all the seat cushions and the board is basically out too. They took out quite a bit of stuff. And this was another double seater. It's a pretty cool looking aircraft. Also too, speaking of the F4, the really tell that this was on the aircraft carrier and that this could be is that right there. That's actually a tow hook. Uh, and on aircraft carriers they have these things called arresting wires or arresting cables. And it will lay across the uh, stern of the ship on the flight deck and then whenever these aircraft are about to land they'll come down and uh, they'll catch the cable so that way it, uh, they won't fly off the deck and also too since there's like no room on aircraft carriers it's yeah basically that's what they have to resort to I'm gonna go to this one over here this is a 50s era airplane they took this all apart though which kind of sucks but yeah. oh they took out the whole engine of this Whoa, both of the engines are gone. What? <laughs> Man, I took out the engines. Look, you can see right there. Engines are gone. Hmm. That's kind of odd, but this is a 50s air, uh, aircraft from the Air Force. Um, they used this during the Air, uh, Korean War. It's a MiG, I believe, a MiG. I think though that was Korean Air Force, but I was pretty sure this was a MiG. I cannot remember. But they took out the front of this nose. This was originally an air intake. Well, that scared me. <laughs> so yeah, they took in air and uh, that's not supposed to be in there. They took a, one of those little single prop airplanes that they have like the one that just took off. It's one of those that <laughs> they just have inside of here. That's not right. That's not supposed to be in there. And here's the wings that went to this aircraft. I saw on Google Maps. So I was Googling Google Map this place earlier. And yep, there's the airplanes. So yeah, this is a pretty cool looking aircraft. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop this off here with part one of my day at the Texas Air Museum. Um, and I'm going to film inside of all the other aircraft inside. So uh, yeah, make sure to go like and subscribe and make sure to uh, check out part two.